Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl Godly. I got a little bit of gameplay info for you guys. I actually had my first flawless gameplay. I think I go 22 and 0. Super excited. I don't see how all these other individuals, though, you know, get these high scoring gameplays because I called in a double VSAT, double Warthog, and all I got was 22 kills. So. I really don't know. Maybe I need to kind of switch up my score streaks a little bit, you know, try some new stuff. I don't know, but, you know, I was pretty excited about it. So, anyways, um, today I have a Q&A for you guys. I've been asking you all to submit your questions. I've been trying to get at this for a minute, but I've lost the damn questions like four times, and then I came across them. So, I know some of y'all are lost, Um yeah, so if you'll resend them, I'll do them for next time. But like I said, I kind of lost them and I wanted to hurry up and get it out. So if you'll resend the questions, I'll make sure and put them in for next time. All right, guys, the first question comes from Blades What's your favorite car maker and why? I guess my favorite car maker would be Chevy. My first car was a 1978 Chevy Camaro. Absolutely hated this car hated it it had red leather seats and it was just hot on your ass no air conditioning it was just yeah it was bad and I was absolutely mortified to drive this car um, I don't know, you know, everybody else had a brand new car and, you know, I always wanted to be one of those kids with a new car and I got the fucking hand me down. My mom bought it brand new in 1978. My older sister drove it and then I got to drive it and I have a younger sister and I was like, bullshit, we're keeping this motherfucker. <laughs> My little sister is going to drive it too. But yeah, so I've ever since then though, I like Chevy. I have a Chevy now and you know, I've never really had issues, so I don't know. Until I have issues, that's my favorite so far. Um, Doom Killer, <clears throat> excuse me, Doom Killer. What's your favorite COD? Um, I would have to say Call of Duty 2. It was back in the day. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever played Call of Duty 2, but it was back in the day when shit was just easy. It was simple. You know, everybody was on the same playing field. You didn't have, you know, score streaks. You didn't, you know, <laughs> you didn't even have a knife. You know, you, you would raise your gun up and hit him with the butt, you know, the end of the gun. And, you know, just shit was just easy. It was simple. You know, everybody was on the same playing field. Um, you know, it was just, I don't know. There was just a easiness about it, you know. Um, but, yeah, it really does make you appreciate the new CODs, that's for sure. Because, you know, looking at it now, <laughs> your soldier, he wouldn't even run. Like, you would have to switch to your pistol, you know, to run a little, I mean, you wouldn't even run, you just walked fast. <laughs> so anyways, but it was just completely different, you know, and I, I just really enjoyed it. So, all right, Placidus Rex, would you ever date a male stripper? All right, I don't know about this because I don't know, <laughs> kind of putting me on the spot. Um, this may be weird, but I just don't find male strippers like all that attractive. Like, I don't know. It's just kind of weird. I think that, you know, a lot of them are gay. <laughs> so I don't know. I just, I don't know. Like, it's just weird for me. I don't know. Maybe it's embarrassing or something, but it's just weird for me to see a male stripper like dance and strip. Will I watch? Yeah. But it's just kind of weird. I don't know. I really don't find it just, you know, off the wall sexy or something. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's weird. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Maybe. I don't know. It's just kind of weird, though. You know, I don't know. I would rather go to a girl, you know, see a female stripper than a male stripper. So, as far as, um, yeah, that's kind of weird, huh? <laughs> as far as, though, uh, marrying them... I don't know, or date them, I don't know, like, I'm a very jealous person, so, um, even if nothing's going on, like, I assume shit, I always have, try not to, but I don't know that I can handle it, I cannot handle another woman touching on my man, it just, no, <laughs> bitch, it ain't gonna work, so, probably not, all right, 
from Brianna. What are your top five favorite games? Top five, um, I guess in no particular order, Mortal Kombat. Love Mortal Kombat. I haven't played it in... I couldn't tell you the last time I played it, but I used to have fucking like notebooks of different moves and shit to, you know, and it's funny because it's just random, you know, I never could get some of that shit down. And now I see people are like, you know, do you know how to copy emblems from, you know, Black Ops 2? And I'm like, no. And they're like, you just do this. And I'm like, no, my fingers don't move that fast because I never was good at Mortal Kombat, but I loved it. You know, always trying new shit out. Um, Tomb Raider. Loved it. And this was back in the day whenever, you know, oh man, this was like the first one. I loved it. I loved it. I played it all the time. I think I played it on my PS2. It was a hell of a long time ago. I know that. Um, Metal X. There was this game called Metal X and it was for um, like X games. And you could do all kinds of fucking shit, dude. Like all kinds. Like you could make your, you know, motorcycle, do all kinds of shit. You could do the Superman, you know, like all these fucking different, you know, X games moves and shit. All these maneuvers. I loved it. Of course, COD, specifically COD 2, um, Mario Kart. <laughs> I love Mario Kart. I don't know why. It's always been one of my favorite games. Of course, I haven't played it in years, but I still stick with it. I still love it. All right. Pico, what's the one meal that makes you feel at home? Growing up, my mom, it's probably why I'm fat, but my mom always made meals. Like she, We had three meals a day. And nine times out of ten, we had a fucking dessert with it. My mom, you know, we're Southern, old school, sweet tea, you know, huge ass meals, you know, especially on Sundays. And then we had fucking dessert every single meal. But mostly it would probably be fried chicken, mashed potatoes and gravy, and probably some corn. Because you cannot eat mashed potatoes without corn. It just kind of goes hand in hand for me. I don't know why. And definitely has to be white gravy. Oh my God, white gravy. I love white gravy. Like I could fucking eat gravy all the time. So bad. Like it's so bad. God, I love gravy. All right. <laughs> you finna get it. Fuck one, marry one, kill one. Jaboosh, you finna get it. And fatal. Fuck one. Probably Jaboosh, just because he's always flirting with me, so I'd probably give him what he wants. <laughs> so he'd shut up. Okay, that's funny. All right. Marry one. I'm going to marry Fatal because right now I'm a little upset with you, Randy. So you're going to be the little fucker I kill. Just saying. And yeah. So fuck one, marry one, kill one. All right, guys. That concludes another episode of Q&A with Godly. Um, like I said, I know I forgot some of the other ones. So make sure and, you know, resend them. Um, I try to get to them as fast as possible. This time I just kept fucking losing them. Like I lost. I lost the questions maybe four or five times. So anyways, um, yeah. So just resubmit your questions um, either on, you know, YouTube or on Twitter, what have you. So that's what I got for you guys. Hope you enjoy. Till next time. Peace.